today we're making a tomato basil Italian sauce. It can be used for spaghetti. It can be used for lasagna. It could be used for any special Italian dish that you want a red sauce in. And I'm making it semi from scratch. We're gonna use all fresh herbs and all that. But we're gonna use cans of crushed tomatoes and tomato paste. Let's, just to make it easy on ourselves, because I don't have all these grown uh, tomatoes yet. Uh, I'm hoping to grow a lot of Roma tomatoes this, this year, and I'm definitely not going to be doing the chopping on tape, but we're testing the camera. Be very careful when you chop, and if you don't want stinky hands, use gloves. Hello. Do we not recognize the wonder of these gloves after you have been through this past year? It's not about just germs. And this is just going to be a fun. If I talk like this, I want you to know this is a, my impression of some a comedian that I know who does this when he plays Italian characters. But my dear Italian friends do not speak like that. But sometimes it's just the fun to speak like that. Do you know what I mean? I have already chopped up and prepped my ingredients so that I can show you it's one, two, three, and very easy peasy. And I hope that you will try this because once you start making your own sauce, you won't go back to pre-made jarred sauces. Okay, here we go. First thing we're gonna do, turn on a medium heat. And then I'm going to put some olive oil in, enough to almost cover the bottom of the pan. Okay. In this recipe, I'm going to put some butter. Put as much as you want. I'm probably going to put about three tablespoons. The philosophy in this house is just go for it. You make adjustments along the way, and every dish is its own unique dish. I am going to put instructions below, but feel free to adjust them to your liking. Once it's heated, not smoking hot, but warm, put in the onions and garlic that I chopped up. This is where I'm at. It's a little sizzly, but not smoking. And I'm going to put in my onions and garlic. I used three medium onions, but you could use one or two or whatever you like. Because remember, when you use this sauce, you can adjust it when you're making the meal that you're going to use it for. So for example, tonight I'm making vegetarian pizza. And so for my vegetarian pizza, the sauce has a lot of onions in it. I might not put extra onions on my pizza. And then I'm just gonna stir up my onions, garlic, and sauce. This is what it looks like. It looks good, looks good. Very thick. Okay, I'm gonna stir that in. It's getting a little bubbly, so I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I don't want it to be bubbling over while I'm actually adding ingredients. Oh, it's gonna be so yummy! I wanna tell you about my very, very dear friend, Alaria. She is an amazing, she has studied the culinary world and her forte using like natural herbs and all kinds of healthy ingredients to make healthy dishes. I recommend her as a tremendous resource. A shot of white wine. And stir that in. Well, when you make the sauce, it's a blend of many flavors. And depending on what you like, you will adjust. The way that we make our sauce is the wine definitely gives it a flavor once it's cooked through. We also add sugar to bring the acidity level down. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of sugar. There's my tablespoon. And when I taste the sauce later, I can adjust it. And if it still tastes a little more acidic than I'd like, and I can add a little more sugar then. Stir. Now I'm gonna add my basil. La, 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 la. Oh my God, this is so 
pretty. Oh, it's it's popping. But look, look how pretty that is. Is that pretty? That is. That, I mean, I'm talking pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it down just a little lower while I'm mixing. I don't want it bubbling on me. And I used like a a handful of the big bunch of basil, chopped it up real fine, and that was my measurement. So. <laughs> Seriously, the point is use what you have, use how much you like. Every dish is its own unique dish. Um, this is a basic recipe and it'll work every time. Just have fun with it. So I'm adding in some oregano. Now I did chop up a lot of oregano and I don't want to overdo it because oregano is a very strong flavor. So pretty, so pretty when you make it. So. It's so fun to cook. I love cooking now. I think if you watched my meatball uh, making video, you would know that I am a testament to people who never really cooked much before in their life. And instead of a midlife crisis, I suddenly got like 10 million more hobbies. I love to cook. And living on a farm, which we are here now about three years, I love just immersing myself in so many different hobbies that utilize the, the nature around me. So the natural herbs that I can grow outside, the tomatoes, vegetables, everything that, that I can do. This year I'm doing a little less because I have a dog now, as most of you know, <laughs> and I spend a lot of time with him and I wanted my gardening to be a little bit simplified so that I could spend time still continuing to train him. It's going really well. He's probably about 18 months old now. He's he's sweet and he's becoming more and more well behaved every day, but it takes a lot of patience. Something I did not realize because I always had little dogs in the past. So I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to leave that for a second. I'm going to add the parsley just as soon as it is a little more bubbly. Then I'll stir that in. Then I'll cover it and turn it to low. Yep, a little bubbly. Again, I chopped up this much. Whatever that's like, it's probably three fourths a cup. I'm just taking a bunch of it and sprinkling it on top. I just love the art of how it looks. So pretty. And it's splattering all over the place. That's okay. I'm going to stir that in. And that's really how easy it is. I mean, it's just that easy. So you chop up your ingredients, you line them up in order. Yep. Well, you don't throw them in the pan, but you put them in the pan, you stir it up, put the lid on it. Embrace the joy of every moment, walk in your greatness, and stay inspired, and share your inspirational ideas with others, pass them along. Thanks for watching. Oh, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. It lets me know that you like it, and I will continue to make more videos. This week's Italian basil sauce is inspired by a recipe that Mikey gave me, so I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you make it your own.